Good morning and welcome to Coffee and Components. Today I want to take you inside the world of Maker and DIY electronics by diving into the Arduino Uno and the Mega devices. And then we'll look at how we can expand upon these tools with shields and separate their very capable brains for use in other projects. The first one is what most people think of when they hear of Arduino. It is the Arduino Uno, which is right here. This is the latest revision on the original Arduino USB concept. It allows you to hook right up to a computer with a USB port. The Arduino Uno is based around the Arduino design philosophy to enable compatible hardware through a common header arrangement on an easy to use platform, including base hardware and software development environment. It seeks to open up hardware tinkering to a new generation of creators by taking away the typical complexities of programming embedded hardware. The hardware is relatively straightforward, making use of a pin header with a common layout and having onboard power conversion, allowing for the board to run from a variety of power sources. The software is based on the wiring language and has a lot of similarities to C++, but is simplified a lot to make it accessible for people who have never coded before. Even though the device has been simplified in many ways, it still possesses the features of a strong embedded microcontroller with a decent number of digital and analog inputs and outputs. It has 14 digital I.O., 6 analog inputs, 32 kilobytes of flash memory, and a 16 megahertz clock speed, all contained in a small package of about 7 centimeters by 5 centimeters. This set of features makes the Arduino an excellent candidate to add brains to your typically dumb devices, allowing them to respond to changes, alert you to say the coffee being finished, light patterns for your next costuming adventure, uh, tweeting you when the mail comes, etc. Now the Arduino Uno makes a great base for simple projects, but if you need more flash memory, more inputs and outputs, more spy and yard interfaces, it's time to step up to the world of the Arduino Mega. A lot of the fundamentals remain the same, but the boards are physically larger to accommodate an extended pin header arrangement, where the standard Arduino pin header remains, but it adds on another couple sets of pins to give access to the additional I.O. available from the AT Mega 2560. There are now 54 digital I.O. pins and 16 analog input pins. The flash memory is also about eight times as large, giving you room for a lot more code. The options to expand upon the Arduinos are huge, with a number of shields available that add features. The very first board I have on hand is a simple one, meant to be a step up from your basic breadboarding. This is the Arduino Proto Shield. When combined with headers, it gives you a platform upon which you can create your system and have spots for additional components. There's a 14 pin SMD footprint with 50 mil pitch and a 20 pin through hole footprint with 100 mil pitch. Being able to solder all your parts together results in a nice strong demo system or even a finished project if you don't plan to take it further and it can be transferred among Arduino boards. The second board I have here isn't strictly an Arduino board but it shows how popular the pinout standard has become and what you can do with it. This is the ST Micro MEMS Inertial and Environmental Sensor Board. This is meant for their Nucleo system based on the STM32 microprocessor. But it comes with a header setup to toss onto an Arduino as well as exposing all four different sensors to the serial data connection. The board features an accelerometer, gyroscope, 3D magnetometer, a pressure sensor, and a humidity temperature sensor. Now these boards all make excellent starting points, but what is really cool is the brains they are built on are available separately for you to embed in projects, along for small implementations to fit your needs, only exposing the inputs and outputs that you need. Right here is the Atmel AT Mega 328P. This is the brain inside of the Arduino Uno. This is the larger 28-pin PDIP package that is good for sockets, but they also come in much smaller packages like a 4 by 4 millimeter QFN, which isn't the easiest thing to hand solder, but it does fit in much smaller places. Here's the brain behind the other Arduino we were talking about, the Arduino Mega. Well, kind of. On hand, I actually have the AT Mega 2561, which is smaller in almost all aspects to the 2560 because it has fewer I.O. allowing for it to come in a smaller 64-pin QFN package. The regular 2560 comes in a 100-pin QFN or BGA configuration. Now, these chips here open up a whole world of creativity from your basic automation to your advanced systems, and now you can take them from a starting point of the Arduino, add on the capabilities of a shield, and then take the brain out and embed it into the projects that you want. 